Alice here and I have another speed build for you today. Today I am dubbing um, Speed Build Saturday. It's a new thing that I'm trying out where I put out a speed build every Saturday. Um, so we'll see how that goes. And for this one, I am building a detective's apartment. I absolutely had the best time creating this apartment, building this apartment, and creating the sim that lives in this apartment. So even though building really is my thing and creating the sims is not my thing, but for this one, I had to make her because I just thought so much about her personality and what I should put in this apartment to, you know, most closely fit her personality. So I just had to end up making her. And I do plan on filling up my save file with actual Sims that I make, but i am just kind of been putting that off. But this one I couldn't, I was just too excited and I had to make her. The first thing that I had to make in this apartment besides the actual walls and picking out the wallpaper and flooring was this. It's the cork board that has all her notes, you know, connecting her cases with these pictures and with these files and all of that. I wish I had red string to string along these, uh, these cork boards, but I still love how it turned out. It was the thing that I was the most excited about and it's the thing that I liked the most in the apartment. It is absolute chaos and stress inducing this little corner here, but that is the exact vibe that I was going for. I wanted to make it very evident that she spends most of her time sitting at this desk trying to connect the dots in all of her cases. So we've got old boxes of Chinese food, uh, you know, a can or two, files everywhere, pictures, you know, clues and notes. And, you know, I just wanted it to, it to be obvious that her job is pretty much her number one priority. Something I got a real kick out of is whenever I named her, I named her Tracy Dixon, which is a play on the uh, the fictional detective Dick Tracy. Um, he's like pretty much the most famous fictional detective beside Sherlock Holmes. So I, I got a real, I laughed definitely whenever I named her. I was very excited about it. And that is the like her vibe she's got the trench coat and in her outdoor outfit I, i've got a fedora on her so she's definitely going for that old noir black and white detective movie look that is her so i wanted her apartment to fit that vibe as well so as you can tell i didn't want to make it look new i wanted the apartment to be older looking to have a little bit of that old black and white movie kind of style in it. So we've got the old wallpaper, we've got some black and white photos, we've got some old movie posters, some mid-century kind of furniture, some art deco kind of furniture. Everything, you know, I, I wanted her, her style, her personal clothing style to fit that, but I also wanted her apartment style to fit that as well. One of the things I'm the most excited about is in my save file, I'm going to have her living right next to a criminal. I've made an apartment a long time ago. It was a criminal's apartment. Yeah, that's right next door to this one. So I thought it'd be super fun to play out the fact that she's a detective looking for the criminal and he's running away from the detective, but they're actually neighbors. Uh, that's so fun to me. I will have the link to the criminal's apartment video in the end screen of this video, just in case you would like to watch that one too. That apartment, that criminal's apartment is pretty dingy. It's the one that needs TLC and the uh, like the hallway of this apartment is pretty dingy. So I definitely wanted to make it a little older, but you know, maybe like an older couple lived here and they've lived here like since it was built and then they just moved out and she took over. So it's older, but still in pretty good shape and considering the age. Well, we're pretty much done. I just want to thank you so much for watching. It means the world to me. As always, this will be uploaded to the gallery. Just in FYI, if you download it from the gallery for some reason, the blinds in the bedroom don't place, so keep that in mind. But if you need the trade files, those can be found on my Patreon, which I'll have linked down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I hope to talk to you all again very soon. Bye, everybody! Mm -hmm.